The crowd is amped up, ready to get this season underway, as are we. Back with more in a minute. From the home of the Mariners since 1999, T-Mobile Park here in Seattle. Opening day 2022 on MLB The Show. It's the Detroit Tigers taking on the Seattle Mariners. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Our right, partner, ready to go. Always a pleasure to get things started with you on opening day. Well, Happy New Year, buddy. And anyone that's involved in baseball, even though it's not January 1st, this is the start of a new year. Every team has playoff hopes. I love this time of the year. I'm excited to get things going. And now, your 2022 Seattle. So almost ready to get underway. And today's starting pitcher, Logan Gilbert. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. So just about set now. And now here's the veteran DH, Alan Trammell. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. And here's the veteran outfielder, Al Kaline. And a major milestone is right around the corner. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. That's in for a strike. Throw to second. Tag out at second. No score just getting started top of the first that's towards center junior under it he makes the grab and there's two down that in third Let's take a check of the Tigers lineup. And with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. Book, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he he's got it. And that is out number three. No score as we head to the bottom of the first. We go to the bottom of the first and towing the slab in this one, Hal Newhauser. What should we keep an eye on here? Comes into this start sporting a lifetime ERA just over three. He's been pretty great for most of his big league career. Can't wait to watch him in this one. Bottom of the first. Here's a speed threat. Ken Griffey Sr. Next offering misses. And a count two and one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The pitch. In the air to left center, Reyes on the move to the right. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one away. And now we check out the Mariners lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. Well, there's a lot of young talent in this lineup. I think as they gel together, gain some maturity over the course of this season, they could be playing October baseball. Here's the shortstop at the play. J.P. Crawford. Next pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. Kicks and deals. Fouls one away and now three and two. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swung on, popped up, left side. And makes the grab. 
And there's two away. Batting third. The first baseman, Edgar Martinez. Two outs, base is empty. Edgar Martinez will hit next. The wind of the pitch. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. Foul ball left side. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Bounce to the left side. Whips it to first on the run. Gets him easily, ends the inning. And one, two, three, go to Mariners. We played an inning, no score. Back in Seattle, second inning, set to go. Now here's the Tigers' cleanup hitter, number one. This guy is an elite-level hitter, especially considering contact, just the ability to hit for average. What you really like, though, stays in against those righties, and that's not so easy as a right-handed batter. Kicks and fires. Got him looking down on strikes and he knew it no that's not the best two strike fastball I've seen but certainly got away with the location there you know sometimes as a hitter when you're down in the count you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate not expecting it and it just kind of freezes you now number seven next offering down low and in the dirt Second inning here, no score. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Umpiring behind the plate for us today, Boog, is Mike Fillmore, and he is a good one. He'll reward pitches on the edges a little bit, but the main thing is he doesn't keep you guessing. Once he established that a pitch is a strike, it stays that way. Got him. Back to back strikeouts. Well, that at-bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at-bat. Now it's Austin Meadows. And a pitch. On the corner for a strike. Two outs. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Tigers are shut down there. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the second. Here's the veteran outfielder, Ken Griffey Jr. With Junior, probably one of the sweetest swings we have ever seen, and certainly as signature a swing as any player has ever had. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball. The whole setup for Junior, the way he waggled the bat, the way he was able to just effortlessly move that swing through the zone, just a pretty thing from start to finish. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. I mean, with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs 
they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. The wind and the pitch. Upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. And down on strikes he goes. Now two away. So up next, Jay right. Buhner. Big time power. Jay Buhner. Next well, pitch is outside. Way. Two and one. No score here in the second. To the left side, but it is well foul. Two two now. Stays alive. Here comes a pinch. And that just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. Two outs, runner at first. So here's Murphy now. And a pitch. And there's a ball. Buner, the runner at first with two gone. Swings and misses. It's two and two. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next pitch in the dirt, and it's a full count. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. And a foul ball. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. And that's ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make the call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. So to a board and two out, scoreless game. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. Next pitch misses way outside. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. Newhauser, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. And he deals. On the ground to the left, and foul ball. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. 
the pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Got him. And that'll do it. Mariners leave a couple. We'll move to the third with no score. Back at T-Mobile Park. And now the batter is Tucker Barnhart. Next one misses two and one. Two balls, one strike, the count. Swing and a two miss, balls. 98 on the gun. Swings and misses, and one gone. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Batting eight. The first baseman. And next up for the Tigers, Spencer Torkelson. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Man at first with one gone. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Victor Reyes. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Got him swinging on the curveball. Two out. Back to the top of the Detroit order. And yeah, the batter now, Alan Trammell. He reached out a walk his first time. Righty delivers. That's in there. Here's a one two. Out towards right center field. Hanniger makes the catch, and that'll do it. Tigers leave one. Still no score. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's Adam Frazier. One and two now. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And a ball and two strikes. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. Out of here. His first homer of the year, and they grab the lead. It's 1-0. Well, he almost robbed the home run right there, and I tell you what, he'd love another crack at it. During batting practice, you always like to work on that, and so so close, but that one was just out of his reach. Ken Griffey Sr. now at the plate. Next pitch is outside. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. This to third. Throw on to Torkelson. One away. 
That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. Now that the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. So digging in, J.P. Crawford. First time up was a pop out. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. Makes the grab on the run. And there are two down. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging now, back into the outfield. The There's part baseman. of him that's saying, hey, where are you Edgar. at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. And stepping in for the Mariners, Edgar Martinez. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Now one out to right. K-Line gets under it. And that's the third out. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. It's now 1-0. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Al Kaline. Here's a 1 1. And a foul ball. Next offering down in the dirt. The why to kick the pitch. Chases that one out of the zone. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes now to shoot it. the ball the other way. Well. But that time, a little anxious. Number 12 up now for the Tigers. And the right-hander deals. And the one-two misses to even the count. The Tigers hitless so far in the game. The punch out there picks up strikeout number seven. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the Number attack one. with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Number one up now for the Tigers. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Stays alive. Two down, nobody on. Now this is in the air down the line. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Now that number seven. Now it's the power speed combo, number seven. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Well struck right field. That one back there. 
bounces off the wall as he makes a great grab. Oh, man, amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball. And welcome back. Bottom of the fourth, and now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners, Ken Griffey Jr. And now the lefty. Griffey was an instant sensation when he burst onto the major league scene back in 1989. A sweet swinging 19 year old kid and he got to play alongside his dad. He was a special player. Could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second and it bangs up against the wall. And that's a leadoff double. It's not often someone hits a baseball this hard. It's worthy of the stat cast treatment singing. Well, I was anxious to see what that exit velo would be, and wow, 116 miles per hour. StatCast absolutely lives for these moments. You know, it's so cool to get that kind of data back almost instantly. Puts it away for the out. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. Now batting left fielder, Jay Buhner. Jay Buhner up next for the Mariners. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Junior, the runner at second with one away. That's the next eight. pitch misses, and that's ball two. The count is two and one. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Well, I've noticed they've been pitching him hard inside, and the key is if you're going to make a mistake, you got to make it off the dish. If it leaks out over the plate with this kind of power, you'll be asking for a new baseball. The pitch, and now it's three and two. And here it comes. Bounce to third, and that one handled. Zips it across, and that's an out. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Now it's Tom Murphy. Two outs, and one in scoring position. Swing and a miss. One and two. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next pitch ball misses second. inside, and that's ball two. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. Two two now. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Got him looking. That ends the inning. One left for Seattle, but they hold a one nothing lead. Back in Seattle, Austin Meadows now. Now this one is hammered way back there. On its way and gone. And we are tied. Austin Meadows powers one out of here. And it ties it up. It's 1-1. One, one.
a good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Now here is Tucker Barnhart. That one pushed foul. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Junior moving to his left. And there's one down. Now batting the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. Digging in, Spencer Torkelson. The 1-1 one -one is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs. Riding to the plate. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Now batting the center fielder, Victor Reyes. Two outs, base is empty. Victor Reyes a chance to hit. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. But a run scores in the inning as this solo home run ties things up. All even at one apiece. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. And strike two. This game has been so tight, feels like the next team to score will win it. Got him. And that's the first down. Adam Frazier, the next to hit. He's already homered in this one. Frazier. The pitch. That one fouled off. Next offering is downstairs. Next offering is fouled back. One down, base is empty. And he chases that one. And there's two down. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Back to the top of the lineup. Next to hit, Ken Griffey Sr. Going to count one and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first-pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Here's a one-two. Just misses with that one. Two-two. And a foul ball. He stays alive.
Fouled off. He was late. And a pitch. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. In time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him. And that's that. We played five full. Tied at one aside. Back at T-Mobile Park. Now it's the DH. Alan Trammell. The wind of the pitch. Popped up first base side. Martinez makes the play. One up, one down. The right fielder, number six, Al Kalon. Al Kalon getting ready to hit. There's something pretty special about a player hitting 400 career home runs. He's one shy of that mark right here. So this could be an historic at bat. And a swing and a miss. Two away. Chris third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Two outs, base is empty. Number 12 will hit next. Next pitch misses inside. Ball two. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one missed. Right side. On to first. Out number three. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. All tied, 1-1. One, one. Bottom of the sixth inning, and now for Seattle, J.P. Crawford. Left-hand batter waits. Swing, and a ball popped up. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. One down. The bat. The first baseman, Edgar. At the play, Edgar Martinez. Now be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. The one two. And down on strikes. Two gone now. Stepping in, Ken Griffey Jr. One for two. Griffey Jr. The next offering misses, and it's two and one. And a pitch. That one misses, and a count is three and one. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Next offering is fouled back. Line drive, short hop to third. Gathers and throws, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nobody left for Seattle. Score remains tied, 1-1. One, one.
New inning getting started. Now it's the second baseman, number one. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. 2-2 Two -two down. Lined into left center, and that should be extra bases. Junior gets it back in quickly, and a potential go-ahead run stops at second base. Now batting, number seven. Go-ahead run on base, and now number seven. Got him! Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter he's prepared for it can get to it but that one just had that little jump at the end which indicates there's a good spin rate on it and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to and that's why you see the swing and miss now it's Austin Meadows bounce to the right side Frazier on the first in time and now two gone the batter the catcher Tucker barn party. And next to hit for Detroit, Tucker Barnhart. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Two down, go ahead run in scoring position. Oh, next three. offering upstairs. And a pitch. In the dirt, and the count is three and one. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one ball. Sneaks through, base hit. In to score is the runner from third. It's 2-1. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Runner at first with two away. Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. The 1-1 one -one is upstairs, and it's 2-1. and one. Barnhart off of first with two away. This one in the air right field. Haniger makes the catch, and that'll do it. So one run in the inning on this base hit, and it's now a 2-1 ball game. Back here at the ballpark, now batting Mitch Haniger. So right-handed slugger at the plate. Chrissy is surprised that the lefty is still in there. Extremely. I mean, you've got arms down in the bullpen, and there's somebody down there that can match up, try to get out of this jam. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Activity in the bullpen for Detroit. Gregory Soto getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Fulmer, the right-hander, also getting loose. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Meadows under this one. Hauls it in for the out. Up next to Seattle, the left fielder, Jay. Now the left fielder, Jay Buner. 
A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. One and two here. Swing and a miss, and he got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of now signs of fatigue. Catcher, Murphy. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tom Murphy, a strikeout and a walk. Nope, Next pitch misses, ball. and it's two and one. Looking to get the tying run on base. Just oh, off the back. inside edge. Two outs. That's in there. And it's three and two. Oh, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. The tying run at the plate. And he walked him. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. With a single base runner, because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Will Vest takes over on the mound, and he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. So two down. Here's the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. Kicks and fires. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line moving through a walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Nicely done from the Tigers' bullpen there. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Tigers' two and the Mariners' one. New pitcher for the Mariners, Sergio Romo. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. And now the center fielder, Victor Reyes. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. And a bunt towards third. And he grabs it in foul ground. And a pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Two-two <laughs> now. To third. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. That leaves him without a throw, and they don't get the out. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So the lineup flips over, and here is Alan Trammell. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. On the ground, right side. To second, there's one, and that's two. 
For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Two outs, bases empty. Al Kaline up now for the Tigers. 1-1 one, one now. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. Right-handed reliever. Up the middle. Crawford collects. Fires the first on the run. And that is the third out of the inning. Looks like it'll be a pinch hitter. Ty France. Big spot for him here. Next offering is in for a strike. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth okay. inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning yeah. a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. And now here is Ken Griffey Sr. Next offering is foul back. Three two now. In the air, center field. Reyes coming in on it. Can't get their base hit. And that puts the tying run on base. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I could see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Gregory Soto. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. So up next, J.P. Crawford. That's next ball. offering misses. Now two balls and a strike. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Picks over and he breaks for second. To second and he's out. And he deals. And another ball. A wide to kick the pitch. And the tying run is on base. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. So two down now. And here is Edgar Martinez. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. Next one misses, and it's 2-1. and one. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. 
And here it comes. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. 3-1, Martinez waits. Fouls one away, and now 3-2. and two. The pitch. And ball four, two aboard. Not nah, what he wanted to do there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. So first and second with two outs. And now, Ken Griffey Jr., one for three. Ball to strike. Late swing, foul to the left. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. The one-two stays alive. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. Next offering is foul back. So the tying run at second. Outside corner got him looking. He can't believe it. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Did it. Got the strikeout. Gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. So remaining in the game defensively, Ty France. He entered the game to pinch hit, and now man second base. Now playing second base. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the shortstop, number 12. Next one in the dirt. Close with that one, but he gets him to go after it. The pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. The batter, number one. Number one up now for the Tigers. Pitch misses inside, two and one. Righty delivers. Next offering misses down and away. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. One run game here in the top of the ninth. On the ground right side. It's through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles absolutely punished that pitch. Wasn't fooled in the slightest. 109 off the bat. I think that means you put a pretty good swing on it. And up next for Detroit, number seven. The 1-1. One -one. On the ground, could be two. There's one. How about that double play? Here is Austin Meadows.
In the air, out towards right center. Junior makes the catch, and that'll do it. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Tigers two and the Mariners one. Andrew Chafin enters the game, trying to protect this lead. And welcome back. Bottom of the ninth. And stepping in for the Mariners, Mitch Hanniger. Up the middle. And that chance handled. And they take care of Hanniger for the out. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. So digging in, Jay Buhner. This guy with light tower power. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. And there's ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to is just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Substitution now at first base. And here's the pinch runner, Julio Rodriguez. Here's the catcher, Tom Murphy. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but I'm not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an in that could change the course of this game dramatically. Tying run at first, the winning run at the plate. Next pitch misses outside, three and one. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Number 12 settles under this one, makes the grab two away. The bat, the third baseman, Eu Big spot here, bottom of the ninth, down to their final out. Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. And now he's the going, lefty runner takes off. Next offering is foul back. Try to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. He's going, runner he's on going, the go going. again. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Runner goes again. Stays alive. The 2 2. Runner on the move again. Pitch misses. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. Bottom of the ninth. Down a run. And tying run on second base. Oh, and this one's plastic. High and deep. It's on its way. Out of here. Ball game. Eugenio Suarez blasts one out. And the Mariners walk it off and win it 3-2. Off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. Three to the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.
our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Three runs, four hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For the Tigers, two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 49 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at T-Mobile Park, 47,715. The Mariners thank you for your patronage and remind you to please buckle up and drive home safely. Yeah, yeah.